The Plymouth Barracuda was manufactured by Plymouth from 1964 to 1974. The first generation Barracuda, a hardtop fastback, was based on the A body platform shared with the Valiant. The first generation car featured distinctive wraparound back glass and was marketed from 1964 to 1966. The Barracuda debuted in fastback form on April 1, 1964. The new model used the Valiant's hood, headlamp bezels, windshield, vent windows, quarter panels, doors, and bumpers, the trunk and some of the glass was new. Utilizing the same hybrid design approach as Ford did turning its Falcon into the Mustang significantly reduced Plymouth's development and tooling cost and time for the new model. The greatest effort was put into creating its distinguishing rear window, a collaboration between Pittsburgh Plate Glass and Chrysler designers that created the largest ever installed on a standard production car to that time. The 1964 Barracuda sales totaled 23,443 units at a base price of $2,512. The highest power option for 1964 was Chrysler's all-new 273 cubic inch V8. A compact and relatively light engine equipped with a two-barrel carburetor, it produced 180 horsepower. The 1964 model year was the first for the Barracuda and also the last year for push-button control of the optional Torque Flight automatic transmission. It also marked the first use of the smaller Torque Flight 6 transmission behind a V8. In 1965, the 225 Slant 6 became the base engine for the U.S. market. Other new options were also introduced for the Barracuda. The 273 engine was made available as an upgraded commando version. Also in 1965, the Formula S package was introduced. It included the commando V8 engine, suspension upgrades, larger wheels and tires, special emblems, a tachometer, disc brakes and factory-installed air conditioning. For 1966, the Barracuda received new tail lamps, new front sheet metal, and a new instrument panel. Deluxe models featured fender top turn signal indicators. The bumpers were larger, and the grille featured a strong grid theme. A center console was optional for the first time. In 1967 the second-generation Barracuda was stylishly redesigned with model-specific sheet metal, and a convertible and hardtop coupe joining the original fastback offering. The new Barracuda was chiefly the work of John E. Hurlitz and John Sampson, with Coke bottle-side contours and heavily revised front and rear ends. Design cues included a concave rear deck panel, wider wheel openings, curved side glass, and S-curved roof pillars on the hardtop. The rear portion of the roof on the fastback coupe was more streamlined, and the back glass, raked at a substantially horizontal angle, was much smaller compared with that of the previous model. During this time the first U.S. federal auto safety standards were phased in, and Chrysler's response to the introduction of each phase distinguishes each model year of the second-generation Barracuda. In 1968, the 273 was replaced by the 318 V8, and the new 340 was released. Also in 1968, Chrysler made approximately 50 fastback Barracudas equipped with the 426 Hemi for super stock drag racing. These cars were assembled by Hearst Performance and featured items such as lightweight Chemcore side glass, fiberglass front fenders, hood scoop, lightweight seats, sound deadener, and other street equipment such as rear seats omitted. An included sticker indicated that the car was not for use on public roads, it could run the quarter mile in the mid-tens. In 1969, Plymouth placed an increased emphasis on performance. A version of the 383 engine was upgraded to increase power output to 330 horsepower, and a new trim package called CUDA was released. The CUDA, based on the Formula S option, was available with either the 340, 383 and, new for 1969, the 440 Super Commando V8. The redesign for the 1970 Barracuda removed all its previous commonality with the Valiant. The original fastback design was deleted from the line and the Barracuda now consisted of coupe and convertible models. The all-new model, was built on a shorter, wider version of Chrysler's existing V platform, called the E-Body. Sharing this platform was the newly launched Dodge Challenger, however no exterior sheet metal interchanged between the two cars. Three versions were offered for 1970 and 1971, the base Barracuda, the Grand Coupe, and the sport model, Cuda. Beginning mid-year 1970, and ending with the 1971 model, there also was the Barracuda Coupe, a low-end model which included the 198 Slant 6 as a base engine, lower-grade interior, and had fixed quarter glass instead of roll-down rear passenger windows. The Barracuda was changed slightly for 1971, with a new grille and taillights, seat, and trim differences. This would be the only year that the Barracuda would have four headlights, and also the only year of the fender, gills, on the Cuda model. 
Starting in 1972 the Barracuda would remain basically unchanged through 1974, with new body side stripes, and minor changes to the bumpers to conform with federal impact standards being the only variations. Big block engines, heavy-duty suspensions and rear axles, and wide tires were no longer offered. Additionally, the convertible model was dropped. Convenience and comfort items such as power seats, power windows, and upgraded interior options were dropped. For 1973 federally mandated safety bumpers were added front and rear. As with other American vehicles of the time, there was a progressive decrease in the Barracuda's performance. To meet emission regulations, the remaining engines were detuned year by year to reduce exhaust emissions, which also reduced their power output. There was also an increase in weight as bumpers became larger and the doors were equipped with heavy steel side impact protection beams. Higher fuel prices following the 1973 oil crisis and performance car insurance surcharges deterred many buyers. Sales had dropped dramatically after 1970, and while 1973 showed an increase in sales, Barracuda production ended 1 April 1974.